Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. Behind me you can see that I have a tripod that I've made. In my hand I have some some bandanas or some uh, what do you call those? <laughs> bandanas. And in my hand I have some paracord. And what I'm doing right now is I'm I'm in the process of taking the inner strands out of the paracord because I want the small strings. Okay, I'm going to use these small strings here in a minute to set up a three-tier bandana type uh, water purification center. This is actually going to be a water filter. Okay, here's my three-tier setup that I've got. Uh, in this top area, I'm going to put grass, dry grass, kind of like what I would use bird nest material that I would use for tinder. It's going to go up here in this top area. The middle one is going to be a mix of rocks and charcoal and the bottom one is going to be a layer of sand. Okay, here's some sand that I can use. This will be the bottom layer. Now it's important to make sure that you're not getting dirt. Make sure that you're getting sand. The reason we want sand instead of dirt is because sand will actually let the water pass without clumping up and dirt will do just the opposite. So we want good sand and that's exactly what this is. This will be perfect for our bottom layer. This will be the last layer that it goes through before it goes into our pot. So a good layer of sand. Try to stay away from the dirt as much as you can. Don't worry about it being dirty right now. It'll clean uh, as we do our filter. Okay, right now I have my fire going. And I'm just going to push with the stick. I'm just going to push some of this stuff up out of the way a little bit. Because what I want to do is I want to rub some charcoal out of the fire base here. You can see that there's already some down here. I darn sure don't want to use my hands, so I'm going to use my bucket here. I hope you can see the charcoals that I'm trying to get. There's some charcoal right down there. These guys, these are the ones I want. So I'm going to make sure that my bucket's kind of in place, ready to catch these guys. Just going to use a stick, and I'm just going to push them right into the bucket. Don't need too many. And if they're kind of hot, don't worry too much. There we go. Like this one fell here in the water. That's perfectly fine because I'm going to be cleansing them with water anyway. In my bucket. I want to cool them down anyway. So I just need a layer of charcoal. Try to get these sticks and things out as much as possible. If you're going to be in the habit, you know, like if you're one of the people that likes to make soap and things like that, you can also use this uh, charcoal from your fire to help make your lye. And I'll show that in a future video. So I'm just getting some of this charcoal out of the fire. And the reason I need this is because this is a very good material as far as filtration because a lot of the impurities that might be in the water they go through and they get stuck in this charcoal. It works really well. So that's about it for that. Let's get some water on it and cool these babies down. We don't want them like, we don't want them all hot when we put them in. Just want to get them cool enough to the touch so that I can put them in my bucket here. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. I'm holding the camera and doing all this at the same time. But bear with me, folks. I hope. I hope that you appreciate what I'm trying to show. Mm. 
So there's part of my second tier. Let's go ahead and take out a lot of these sticks and grass and all that. That's going to be in the first tier. There we go. Again, we're going to dump them in real quick. Get them nice and wet. Clean them up. That's exactly what we need. Now that's going to go in the second layer. Okay, now I have my charcoal. I had smoke in my eyes. I'm just going to pour this stuff down into the second tier. Water and all. And over behind me over here, I have some rocks. small river rocks, nothing too crazy. I'm going to put those in with the charcoal. Just kind of making this thing nice and make sure it's going to hold everything real well. How's my sand looking? How's my rocks looking? Good. Now, from here, I'm going to just grab some of this dry grass over here. This is kind of like uh, the first line of defense for the filtration process. You want to try to not get much green stuff. You want to try to get more yellow and dead stuff than live stuff. So try to get a lot of a lot of dead, dry stuff, almost like you would find in a bird's nest or stuff that you would use for timber. Just kind of picking out the green stuff real quick. Stick, stick them in there. That's my first layer right there. Okay, I'm back. I have two containers in my hand. This one is going to be the container that I have at the bottom of the filter to catch the filtered water. It's stainless steel and the reason I choose this one for the bottom is because after I get the water filtered, I'm going to purify the water. So I'm going to set that down. This other container that I have is an Arizona tea jug. Found it in the trash. This is the container that I'm going to get the water out of the, out of the river here and pour into this water filter. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing up. This is the water we're going to pour in the filter. Okay, so she's got that water. She's going to start pouring. Go ahead, sweetheart. Thank you. As it comes down, you notice that it's starting to go into the second tier. And you see that it's hitting the charcoal directly. That's what I want because the charcoal has a uh, property of it that filters really well. So. As it comes through the charcoal, it goes down into the bottom tier, and you can see the water coming out of this, and it goes into the sand, okay? Once it goes through the sand, and we go lower, you can see where the water is coming out at the bottom of the filter, and that's where I'm going to catch that water. So as she pours, go ahead, please. The water goes in, it comes down into the second tier comes down, flows down from that second tier down to the sand, and then eventually out of the bottom into our container. Now, when it comes to this sand, it's real important to make sure that you don't pour the water too fast, because what will happen is the filtration, the water will go outside of the sand, and it won't filter it correctly. We need it to go through the sand, just like it is right now. So as she keeps pouring a little bit here and there, comes in, 
Again, it goes down right on top of charcoal and rocks, right on top of sand, right there, and then eventually into our bucket. So I'll see you when I have a full bucket, and we'll talk. Okay, up here you can see again, the water's coming out of the top tier. It's going right down on top of the charcoal and the rocks. And again, it's creating a small pool here in the sand. It's important to, again, I know I'm probably reiterating here, but it's important to make sure that this pool in the sand doesn't get too large. We need to use the sand as, as our filter. At the very bottom, you can see the water coming out of the filter and dropping right into our bucket. If you see the bubbling and things like that, don't worry about that too much. If you see a little bit of discoloration in the water, don't worry about that too much. Not that big of a deal. Go ahead and pour some more, please. There you go, thank you. So we're pouring about a cup at a time. The top filter is very fast. The middle fil medium uh, filter is very fast. And the bottom filter, the sand, is the slowest one. So don't get too ahead of yourself when you're uh, filtering the sand portion because again you don't want water spilling over the side and getting out of the sand because then when that happens you're losing your filtration there. I have my bucket basically it's just floating now on its own. There's enough uh, weight in it to hold it and I'm just waiting for this process to go. I'm going to back up a little bit and get a different view. See the water goes in, goes down, goes down into the sand, and that's the three-tier water filter system. Now to purify the water that I've filtered, I'm just going to set it on this grid over these coals and let it come to a boil. We're in the process of doing our three-tier water filter and I, I just wanted to talk to you for a quick second. When you're filtering your water, you want to make sure that when you're done filtering it, you don't want to drink it right away, okay? There's a big difference between water filtration and water purification. Now, this water, after it comes out of the filter, it's in better condition than it was before it went into the filter, but nonetheless, let's make sure we purify it before we drink it. Now, if it's a survival situation, I'm getting smoked out here. If it's a survival situation and you really, really need to drink to save your life, then absolutely drink the filtered water. But you are taking a risk there. So again, filter it, then purify it. That's my recommendation.